Hey guys, today we're going to talk about doing a self-portrait on a kayak. One of the most annoying thing about um, being in a kayak and fishing, if you catch a really nice fish, what do you, what, what, what's the picture you normally see? A guy kneeling down like this because he put the camera on his kayak and the thing is bobbing up and down and he's leaning over just like this and it looks just terrible. Or uh, uh, the fish just, just laying on his lap and he goes like this and it was a really big fish, you can't even fit it in the frame, right? So to get the kayak, to get the, the fish and to just have a better perspective on the, the fishing you're, you're doing, I think the best way to do it is outside of the boat. Of course, if you're fishing by yourself, uh, which a lot of kayakers do because it's simple and easy and stuff like that, it's very difficult to, to get a decent shot. You got a buddy, that's great, and half the time you got to rely on him to know how to take a picture to begin with, right? So a lot of times I, I give somebody the camera and it's like horrible, right? It's the focus is somewhere else. <laughs> a lot of times the, the fish is cut off. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so if you're fishing by yourself, and I do that a lot because sometimes I can only go fishing for like a couple hours, and it's just a pain to coordinate everything and get out there and just throw the kayak in and you know, I'm done with it. So I do fish by myself a lot, especially in a kayak. So I found a little solution the other day, which works great. A lot of people that do go fishing, they have this, uh, the life proof case already, right? So I found an app that'll give you a, a timer so you can actually time yourself. But the problem is mounting the, mounting the camera on the, on the kayak or somewhere else, which obviously not going to work out. It's going to be the same thing as a regular camera. So having a life proof, which is a, you know, with an iPhone in there, you have a timer app and the way to mount this thing to get a br great perspective is to mount it on this handlebar mount. You can see here, there's a handlebar mount. It comes with different foam sizes. So you can put it on a boat. You can put it on a, on a, any round object, you know, up to a certain size, obviously. Uh, so what I choose to do is put on a stakeout pole like my wang anchor here and what I want to do is stake it out there, put on a timer, back up and you know let the thing take a bunch of uh, uh, photos of me with the fish and hopefully one of them come out pretty good. So this is pretty cool right, it's pretty sturdy and there's a little, besides having different size mounting, it also has a, a pivot point here. So you can have it rotated, pivot whatever way you want to get the best angle. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. And the, and, uh, and the life proof iPhone, just go just like this. Oops, hold on, gotta close it. Close it. Gotta put it right here. And it stays in there pretty damn good. Also a lot too, so you can't take it out. No way you can take it out, right? Take it out until you push this thing and it opens right up. So you can have it on a boat too, it works out good. I'll show you pictures with that when I mount it on my boat, if you use it as a GPS and stuff like that too. So I'm gonna do it right now. Basically, um, I already measured this to the size I want. So basically I just clamp it down just like that. And I'm good to go, all right? I tighten this thing to the angle I want, horizontal. So basically, obviously, I want to do this outside, but obviously it's raining outside today, so that's not going to work out too well. Um, so I will stake, put the stakeout pole out, put the timer program, put it in the clip, put the timer program on, then grab my fish, you know, hopefully the kayak and all that stuff, you know, it behind me, and I will hold the fish as I do it. The app I'm using, well, let me do it first, and I'll show you the app I'm using. It's a pretty cool app. It's a free app as well. Um, let's see. All right, the app I'm using is called Camera Timer. Let's see if you can get a focus on that, right? Uh, okay. Start off like this. There's an option on top that says um, single or multiple, and how, m how many seconds you want it to to do to wait for it, to take a picture. I'll, I'll scroll up. Let's just say I'll put on 10 seconds, right? Should, you can put it on 30 seconds if you want it to. Obviously, if you need more time, depends on your situation, as you can see right there. I'm gonna press multiple, because I want multiple shots. It comes with this menu, right? So it's gonna say 10 seconds, uh, appears between shots, and how many shots? I'm gonna say I wanna take, you know, seven shots. You can take as many shots as you want. And in between setups, I want uh, five seconds. You can have more or less, obviously, depends on what you wanna do. Okay, and after you do this, just press Open camera, 
Yeah. Now it's pointing. Now it's pointing at the front camera. I gotta set up to the front camera because I want to see. I mean, I gotta set up as a back camera, but I really want to do it a front camera. So right here, I want a front camera. Come on, baby. There we go. So now I got a front camera. So basically, it shows me what I'm pointing at, so I can frame myself. Alrighty. Let's let's do this. Put it in here, clip it in. Make sure I got the framing right. Okay. Then you press the, the play button here so the count start 10 seconds. In the 10 second, I can go back to my kayak. Mind you, this is staked out somewhere. I can go grab my fish, my kayak's in the background, come back here, it's frame. It makes the noise and it go click. One, one picture. Five seconds, I can do whatever I want to do like this. All right. I could be in the water, get some motion shots. There you go. And the water be dripping off of this thing too. Or you can have a uh, you know, different angle like this. You can do all kinds of stuff like this, right? Of course, in real life, you'd be fighting the fish and stuff. So you can shake it to make the, the fins go up a little bit. You can make it so the, the head is more towards the thing, be a little bit bigger, right? You can grab your rod to show your sponsors what product you're using and all that stuff. You can move the kayak around, done. So that just took seven photos of, um, of what I just did there, right? Let me pause this thing real quick. All right. So it just took seven photos. Oops, it's still in the camera mode. Let me go to, uh, now I should be in my photo, my, my photo folder. There you go. So all seven photos can be right there, right there obviously all right so there you have it you can do it over and over and it works pretty good it's um it's a life proof with the wang anchor and uh, the handlebar mount which is available on life proof or internet website uh i sell it on salty shores as well whatever not a big deal um a stake up pole and the app call camera timer and I will put a link to the to the app on um, I'll put a link to the app on the description below, so you can check it out. I hope that helped you guys. Uh, self portrait in a kayak that's not the same old lame shots. <laughs>